All right, YouTube. So in this video, I'm going to show you and explain it furthermore the whole concept of working with the color wheel and basically how the color wheel helps you to achieve the proper colors in your photography. This video is going to be about photography. Next video I'm going to do about this is going to be about uh, DaVinci Resolve and color grading for film. So let's jump into it and we're kind of going to work step by step in this whole process. So, we are in Photoshop, and basically, uh, there's one of the image that I kind of ruined on purpose. It looks a little bit weird. The sky like blue, and the car is like pink. The colors don't look like that originally, but I just want to show you the example, what you can do knowing the color theory, how to change it and make it a little bit better. So, let's start. Now... If I'm gonna rotate the wheel, okay, so the car, the car is kind of pink a little bit, and let's see, I mean, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below about a um, computer version of this wheel, there's a website you can actually have a digital version of this, but I mean, obviously the piece of paper is not as accurate as the digital version, but it's very nice to have it in your possession all times. So let's just say we have red violet, okay? Now, let's analyze the picture really quick. I have a very strong car. It's kind of violet, pink, whatever you want to call it, purple. And I have another major color is teal in the skies. Basically, that's two dominant colors in this particular scenario. So what I'm going to be looking on the color wheel is complementary colors right over here, okay? So, let's see. Um... This is going to be example of very popular teal and orange, and I know it's very redundant, but I just want to, for you guys to understand basic principle of what I'm doing right now, and later you can obviously work your own color schemes. So, if I'm going to rotate, so the air in the middle, and I'm rotating the colors, so let's say my main general color is blue, and I'm going to leave it right over here, blue, okay? Opposite from the blue, we have orange. So, what does it mean for our photography? That means I'm going to make clouds, sky, baby blue, and I'm going to make the car orange. So, let's see what we can do in practice, okay? So, I'm going to go into Photoshop, and I'm going to do, let's see, da -da 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 -da, hue and saturation. I'm going to click on the little hand over here. And I'm going to select the color. So my color is going to be blue. I'm going to start with that. And let's shift the hue. Okay, and as I'm shifting, it's basically going to show me and change the different value of this kind of baby blue. Okay, I like it like this. Let me increase a little bit more saturation because I really want two of these colors like pop right in the face. So, I kind of like it like that. Okay, let me close this really quick. And then, let me rename this. I'm going to call this one Sky. I'm going to also do another layer. Again, Hue and Saturation. And for this one in particular, I'm going to pick... Let's see over here. I'm going to pick the car. And based on our little color wheel over here the next co color I need to pick is going to be orange okay so I'm going to start moving the little hand over here and we're going into let's see orange 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 okay so something like that but we see her skin start turning like incredible hulk so basically, in photography, it's obviously much easier to fix than you would do in, in film. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to work with the mask. I'm going to select brush. I'm going to change color of the brush to black. That means we're going to mask it out. And basically, I'm just going to paint it, paint her skin. See, like that. A little bit of steering. Okay, obviously for the sake of tutorial I'm not going to be spending too much time painting everything. Okay, 
most important her face okay her little bandana kind of start getting green too we don't want that okay very quickly all right so she's back at her natural colors all right so now it's a completely different picture if i'm gonna push and hold alt and i'm gonna click on that first background image okay with the left click of a mouse we can see what a huge difference we made just by simply following a basic rules of color and this is very simple example obviously because i'm using complementary colors it's basically only two colors involved however in the future videos i'm going to show you how to do more complex color variations and obviously one of the videos or maybe several videos i'm going to take you guys with me on a fashion shoot and i'm going to show you the entire process how we do it picking the clothing picking the background picking the model and basically the the, the legit process of shooting higher end fashion pictures okay now very important as far as the colors obviously you need to do a little bit more work to finance everything for the sake of tutorial i'm going to leave it like that however always remember whenever you do any kind of color retouch i highly recommend leaving color for the very last step first always do skin retouching and basically fixing the major flaws with the image like for example in our picture over here let me create a new layer really quick and uh, let me select color so you can see we have a lot of problems in this picture like for example we have reflection on the door we have kind of bleaks over here by the handle we also have stuff over here we have the fingerprints over here and all those kind of things you need to address before you're actually going to start tweaking and manipulating the colors at the full extent so in the following videos i'm going to be showing you guys how to do more of this kind of stuff for photography and for filmmaking and for videos in davinci resolve so thanks for watching and i'll see you soon